you guys want to know how to get this look, then carry on watching. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video to watch and hope you enjoy. I'm just going to do a little get ready with me today. I've already kind of started a little bit um, but I'll just quickly go through the products that I have actually used already. I needed to do kind of like an updated makeup everyday routine video because I haven't done one in a, like a long time. Hey babe. Subscribe. First off to set my face I did actually use the Neutrogena Mist Toner and then I did actually put on the Freedom Moisturiser Everyday Cleansing Cream. Then after that I literally just used my Ordinary Silicone Primer along with my e.l.f. Putty Primer on my spots and kind of like blemish places. So like around my nose and like underneath my eyes I use this and this goes everywhere on my face to kind of like set my foundation in place. And then for my brows I've literally just used the pair soap soap brows with a little bit of hairspray sprayed onto these and then literally just used this brow pro micro pencil which is Rimmel London in the shade I'm pretty sure it's like dark brown yeah dark brown yeah it just comes with like a little brush which is good for like brushing your brows and then the filling in pencil there okay so now I'm going in with foundation and I've actually kind of switched up my foundation from last time I did this video so now I use the Clinique foundation and concealer two in one in the shade golden neutral I'm actually loving this at the moment I've used it a few times and yeah I just feel like it's kind of a better color match for me it's still a little bit dark but not like at the end when I like literally put all my concealer and everything on it is totally fine I literally just kind of put this everywhere and then I wet my beauty blender and I'm literally just patting it in now I'm literally just going to put a little bit on my forehead and the coverage of this isn't I don't want to say like exactly the best one that is out there because I do have to do a couple coat to make kind of full coverage but it's quite nice and light I've just switched the angles because I feel like this is way better light in here and I haven't actually got my ring light on at the minute so next basically I learned this trick that like if you use your setting spray which is mine is the NYX matte finish spray it on your face just after doing your foundation let it sit for a couple minutes so it's like dry go in with your beauty blender and like basically just put it all over your face and it just takes like any excess foundation so you have like more of a natural look but also it keeps it staying on because it's like pushing it further into your skin if that makes sense so take a deep breath and let it go Next I'm going in with the cream contour which is from Fenty Beauty in the shade Teddy and I'm literally just spraying a little bit of the setting spray onto that because it does kind of get a little bit dry and I'm going in with the Zoeva 102 silk finish brush So now I'm going to be using the same concealer as I did to kind of like undo underneath my eyebrows which is the Revolution Concealer Defined in the shade C1. I'm literally just going to apply it kind of to the bits where I kind of want a bit of highlight. So underneath my eyes and I literally just put like this so it's not too much. And then I literally apply a little bit to my nose here and then a little bit to my chin, a little bit to the top of my head and kind of just underneath here where I've contoured and I just want it to kind of stand out a little bit. So that is kind of blended out now and I like to just quickly go back in with the cream contour from Fenty Beauty and I just like to kind of just do a little bit here like by each eye just kind of like I don't know make my face seem a bit slimmer so I've done that now and I'm just going to go in with my setting powder now. I'll go in with the RCMI setting powder. It's just put it all on the places that I have basically put concealer to kind of just like set my face. 
So now I am going in with the Too Faced powder, which is in the shade Latte, and I'm just going over kind of all like the places that I've like put the RCMI powder on. I'm going in with the Morphe M527 brush, which is a brilliant powder brush, by the way. Like, if any of you guys want a powder brush, get this one. I'm just kind of like going over all that like, kind of the white patches. So now to bronze the face, I'm going to go in with the Mua Bronzing Perfection in the shade Sunset Tan, and. I'm literally just kind of gonna go everywhere to be honest like I'm not really like too bothered about this because it's not too dark using the Morphe M462 brush which I love I literally love Morphe brushes now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Hula which obviously as you can tell just me putting that on now is a bit darker I'm blend it out I'm literally gonna go back in with my setting powder and my sponge and I'm literally just gonna go underneath here using any of the excess powder that's from the Too Faced powder I'm literally just going to blend that out I should have said before but looking that way it's because it's a mirror and I need to see what I'm doing now I'm going in with some blush and I'm using the NARS Orgasm X on the Morphe E3 brush which again like Morphe brushes kill it every time like these are so so good I love this as a blush brush as well because it's like a little bit pointed here as you can tell and oh just gets the product where you want it to go do you know what i mean i do tend to put a lot of blush on not because i absolutely love blush but because i feel like this is the easiest product for it to kind of lose like the color after putting like highlight and stuff on now i'm going to go with highlight with the morphe m510 brush and then i use two highlighters so i use revolution highlight to reload rise the bar and i also use my belief face studio chrome extreme you shouldn't be fighting on your own and like I'm glowing now. Love that. I'm going to go in and set my face and I'm using the Iconic London Prep Set Glow uh, in the gold colour. Um, look at that. That is amazing. I'm going to go in with that now. I literally just tasted that. Once this is dried, I'm going to go in again with my NYX Matte Finish Spray. It's kind of like make sure everything's set in place. Okay, so now I wouldn't normally do much with my eyelashes, just kind of put mascara on the bottom lashes. But because my eyelashes are looking a bit sparse at the minute, I'm just going to literally pop on like a little bit of my false lashes on the end. I'm literally going to just like stick a few on the end, just kind of like give that kind of curl a little bit. Okay, so to apply my lashes, I literally use the Duo Lash Glue. And then I'm going to be using my tweezers. So I don't even know if you can tell, but I've just added like a little bit each side to kind of make them a little bit fuller. And yeah, that's all I'm really going to do. Then I'm going to put some eyeliner on. For my eyeliner, I go in with the MAC pencil, which is in the shade Coffee. And let's just do my water lines here. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. That's all I really do there. And then I literally just pop some mascara on. And the mascara that I do use is the Rimmel London. And I just put that on the bottom of my lashes. So I'm going to go and do my freckles, so I actually draw freckles on. I do actually use a combo of this pencil that I literally use for my eyebrows, which is the Rimmel Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And then I also use the liner that I've literally just put on my face. And it's just freckle away all over my cheek. So I've got some freckles on, which I think are so cute. And then the last but not least, I'm going in with my lipstick. So surprise, I've got some Morphe products that I use on my lips. So I use Boy Toy for my lipstick. I go in with the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Rose, I think it is. And that is the finished look. So that is everything guys, thank you guys for watching, please remember to like this video if you did end up enjoying, to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.